Hello all, welcome to Illuminate the Oracle. Hey, 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 welcome and welcome back. All right, so as I was doing um, <clears throat> my last reading, hold on, please hold. All right, so as I was doing the last reading, a man showed up. <laughs> <laughs> a man showed up these two cards showed up gentleness merman i was doing it was a self-development reading we were in the mermaid deck and communication popped out and gentleness popped out um and you know my mermaid deck has varying different like you know they look different you know they vary some are darker some are lighter some are brighter you know for this is like it's it's both in a very similar color story they're both kind of like in this darkness so it's something you can't see um that's coming through very gently <laughs> and so that's what we're gonna pull on i want to see what that's about <clears throat> all right so I think I just want to pull like a card from a couple of decks on this situation. All right. So first, we're going to jump into this reading. All right. Uh, all right. First, the prayer. Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive today. Any ill will or evil eye energy sent our way, kindly remove that energy, block that energy, remove it, return it back to its rightful owner, bind them in their own energy so it can never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> All right. So I think I want to do like just kind of just one card. I want to do like a little line of cards from, but one card from each deck just to give me a gist of like what's going on as it pertains to, to this um, energy of gentleness and communication. So I think I want to start with like an overall general vibe of this, of this communication and gentleness that's coming through here. So what does my collector need to know? What does my collector need to hear as it pertains to this gentle communication? Okay, what does my collector need to know? First card out to give me the overall energy of the situation. Overall energy. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. <clears throat> so this looks like someone's is um someone's looking like they're it's it's feeling like they're blocked off, is looking like they're blocked off. Someone's feeling blocked off. Maybe they feel blocked off from you or feel blocked off from communicating with you at this point in time but there's like they're looking off with the glasses trying to be incognito maybe hoping that you won't notice them um this could be someone looking at your social media or following very following your social media very closely or any kind of platform that may you may speak on or if they just um This is someone that would, you know, would be a, a, a opposed to starting some type of fake accounts if, if they feel like they don't have if they don't have a certain level of access with you anymore. Um, this is someone that's just, it's just this is really is the energy of someone that's trying not to let on how closely they're watching. Hence the sunglasses. So that's the overall energy is that y'all both could just be kind of in your own. That's the energy between y'all both right now. It's like, yeah, both are pretending like y'all not that interested, but y'all are definitely interested. Y'all both are stalking each other, trying to pretend like y'all not. Because uh, y'all love each other. <clears throat> because y'all really want to be. This is a connection that these people want to be together. <laughs> it says union. It says wedding. It says married. So connection. Ah. Uh, soul connection it says eternal love everlasting 
promise. So your souls made a promise. Your souls made a promise. So it's always so y'all like to pretend like y'all ain't watching each other. Ah, but for real, real, the real, real that's between y'all, the energy between y'all is union. Y'all souls are bound to each other. Tell me more. Y'all so souls are bound to each other. It sounds like it feels like it seems to be. What, is my, what else is my collective need to know? What else? Ooh. Axe. It says break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Someone is likely feeling abandoned because they miss your voice, want to hear your voice. Maybe there's something they had to axe away <clears throat> in order to experience you in the way that they desire to. Yeah, it feels like whatever they were, it just wasn't enough. You were frustrated. It wasn't even it wasn't even a love situation where they was, but I think wherever it was, it was something that did feed their ego in some way. Or they just kind of lacked the confidence to move forward. They lacked the confidence in whether or not they had Whether they had what it takes. Because obviously they would have been tested. They would have had to go through some trials. And maybe they just didn't feel like <laughs> they weren't up for that challenge. They weren't up for this connection at that point in time, it feels like to me. Um, okay. All right, so I kind of want to see what this energy of the axe says now. <clears throat> ah, it came right on out. Thank you, Spirit. Comic relationship is in the reverse. So that's what got axed out of the picture now. This could have been the thing that was standing in the way of the connection was the lessons that we needed to learn. But they got learned, and now they can be cut away. Love that. I love to see the growth. <laughs> love to see it. Evolution is a beautiful thing. Ah, somebody had a revelation. I said evolution, but somebody had a revelation. It's like thunder, lightning. The way you love me is frightening. The way they love you is frightening. They are. This person is actually in love, so they realize that they could not. They do, can no longer fake the funk in a pretend relationship when they're actually in love somewhere with someone. It struck them like lightning. So whatever was once feeling or fulfilling them on an ego level, it no longer can suffice when it comes to this kind of energy. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval. And the last word it says, trans. For fucking nation. Pod my language, darling, but this is my channel. Sometimes it pops out, it is what it is. But yeah, transformation is the last word on this card. <laughs> it's inevitable. Um, it could have been, you could have been, a, you could have been very much the shocking news to this individual when they realized you existed. When they realized it wasn't just something that they dreamed about, that it was something that they now were seeing in real life or now could hear, now could. Uh, actually have a connection that <laughs> shakes the soul <laughs> in a way that cannot be found or felt with anyone <laughs> that they've ever experienced before. <laughs> so yeah, they understand that this is this is very significant. And so they had to change for this. This is the kind of connection that you gotta change for you gotta meet a certain level of standard here because it's not just like anything else. It's a soul connection. And so somebody wants to, somebody's, somebody's trying to propose or somebody's just trying to commit or make a commitment or make some sort of promise of loyalty um, Because it's something here where it's like they don't want. Well, 
Well, the cards has it here, engagement, partnership, eternity, union, completion. They want to complete this already. You know, we keep seeing like they have these urges to unite, to be a union with you. They can see being in a union with you. They can see you being their partner. And so it's about making this official. <clears throat> because baby, I promise that I'll never leave. And everything will be all right now. I promise to you. Girl, just believe. I promise. <laughs> my, that's shout out to Jagged Edge. Might they hear that Jagged Edge song? Promise. I promise, 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 promise. What else is the collective to hear? What else is the collective to know? I said I was going to be switching up the decks, and I just have not been called to do so yet. Photograph. Yeah, we got somebody looking and checking you out somewhere in some kind of way. I don't know if they have like a little stash that they've been keeping some pictures of you that they've been kind of like, ooh, I like them. Ooh, I don't look. It's not creepy because this is this is not this is a feeling that's felt between two people. We already clarified that, so it's not creepy. It's like y'all have both equally feel that this connection is intense from both sides. So however way, and y'all both trying to pretend that y'all not, that y'all not looking, but y'all looking really intently because the sunglasses child like, I mean, y'all like each other a lot. And this is like doubly confirmed because this card, interestingly enough, doubles, I like you. And so it's like... It's felt both ways, okay? Y'all not going to play me. Y'all not going to play me. I see it. It's felt both ways, so it's just not creepy. It's 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 quite calming. It's a quite calming dynamic. This person wants to take you, hey, let's go away. Let's go away to the other side of town. This person wants to be in a place where they could just have you, where they could just be with you. I feel like this is a business person. This is a very fast-paced <clears throat> business kind of person. This could be an entrepreneur, um, but it's like their life is very could be very fast-paced or you know a lot of action in, it, in this person, or they could just have a lot of things they have to attend to. Um, and so yeah, this person fantasizes and fantasizes and imagines. Uh, Y'all just being together and just, you know, being in, being in each other's space and not having anything to distract either or. All right. Woo! Anything else in my club that I need to know, I need to hear? All right. Love. This person's in love. And once again... It's unconditional love. And it's felt both sides. Y'all both just hiding it from each other. Hand of cards. But some they're coming up with a strategy as you're indulging in yourself and, and, and healing yourself and pampering yourself. I do feel as though this person is pampering themselves or finally allowing themselves to be pampered. But someone is what you don't see. Is a date. A date coming through. Okay. So this is this person may be asking you this gentle conversation that's coming through a communication could be about when can we set up this date, right? They want to be able to take you somewhere. All right. Oh, do I oh these are oh goodness. All right, I'll do I do maybe a couple of these naughty decks. I wasn't really trying to go for those. What's that? <clears throat> what does my collector need to know as it pertains to this? Okay. My Siren Bay. They think that you're a Siren Bay. They think that you drew them in. <laughs> they think that you're gorgeous. There's something about your features that they really are drawn to. You could have like... Um, Big, beautiful, luring eyes, 
Um, it could be something about your lips as well, but I feel like the eyes, the lips, it's something that they feel like draws you, you draw them in in some kind of way. Oh, y'all could be lovers and friends. For some of y'all, it could definitely be lovers and friends over here. Somebody definitely wants to Netflix and chill with you. They also want to know what it would be like to spend day to day with you and to see life with you. They may try to use sex to control. I do feel like somebody, I just feel like someone that just wants to lay it down. They just want the time to, they're not, I don't feel them as being controlling. I feel them as being time to set, this is, these are sexual cards. So it's like, they do want to control you sexually. They do want the time, the space to just like, I don't know, play doctor, play, I don't know. <laughs> Play masseuse. I don't know what role play they got for you, but it's something like just give me the time, the space to just just do what I want with you, and just be allowed to do what I want with you. Is the vibe? Um, but some of y'all do may have to be aware of black magic sex. What what's going on here? Breathe deeply, baby. No. Play with each other. Yeah. No, this is innocent. This person just wants to... I do feel like this person wants to hook you with their sex, though, to be fair. I don't know. If y'all have done this before, then they want it again, and that's what they, they can't stop thinking about, is what it was like when they had you before. If they've never had you, then it really is just like their wildest fantasies. And they just want to explore it. They want to exercise it. Okay. <laughs> um, what do I want to... What do, what, okay. All right. Let's pull tarot. What's going on here? <clears throat> Show me the energy around this masculine. Show me the energy around the masculine. Energy at this time. Holy Spirit. Show me the energy around the masculine at this time. Show my energy around the masculine at this time. Moody, pissed off. He's not giving no love to nobody around. In the, in the Queen of Cups is in the reverse, so he ain't got no love for anything that's in, in his immediate environment right now. He's real short. He's not showing. He's not showing no love to any of it because there's a lot of chaos that he's currently dealing with in his world that he's had to cut away from. Um, he's also feeling like he, he's also feeling like he's missing some opportunities, but things have come out. Revelations have come out on perhaps some missed opportunities because things are being held from him. He was kept in the dark about some things that he wasn't able to choose or make decisions on. As it pertained to what? As it pertained to his own personal power, it could have involved a queen of swords in the reverse. Someone who's very cold, bitchy, mean, mean-spirited, that kept them in their heads, made them feel like they didn't... Mentally controlling. So they were dealing with a mentally controlling, low-vibrational figure that was really mean and sharp with their words that kept them in their head. I, it's, I feel like they're in their head about making something clear to you. They may feel like you're in the this energy of holding your ground against them. Possibly because you're waiting for them to take a leap. Yeah. To be successful. You just want this person to be um, successful when it comes to what they truly desire here. Eight of Cups. Um, and what they need to move away from. This person is holding on to you. Two of Swords.
This person it could be focusing on their finances right now because they could be fighting for their security at this point in time. I do feel like they could be kind of in the midst of like stashing things if they're in transitions that deal specifically with their finances or having to uh, pay out in some way. Um, it's like they're stuck in stalemate energy until they're out of this period. But But it feels like that's it. It feels like that's all. This person, I feel like they have very low patience here because they're so in love. Like they have these juicy feelings. This Ace of Cups, they want this new beginning because it's just, it's a never ending feeling they feel. Um, but this person had to tie up some strings, you know? They probably have to deal with some karma due to, you know, um, where they were, where they've been, what they chose. But. <laughs> That, that that saying, my mind and my money and my money's on my mind, it's like this person is definitely about their money. They're serious about their money. But it's that's not what their mind is on. <laughs> and I don't really feel like their mind really has to be on their money. I feel like this person will ask on that. I don't feel like this person has to be concerned about their money. But maybe this something about this person feels like they do need to be. But they can't deny <laughs> that's not the only thing that's on their mind. Uh, but it could be this love thing that has them feeling like they need to gain more pentacles. And that just could be their, their personality type. That could be a part of their love language. I don't know. But because it seems to be intertwined, this love thing, these feelings of love, these thoughts of love, this intense love. Mixed with pentacle, 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 pentacle. So this person may even feel like the way they feel worthy of love is to have the pentacle, which is kind of sad to me because everybody's deserving of love. and It doesn't take a pentacle for that. Um, it should never take a pentacle for that. Um, but yeah, it kind of feels like that. It feels like it's kind of intertwined. This is someone that has put the kibosh on working with someone, though. There was someone that they found out was imbalanced, that they stopped working with. This queen, this king of pentacles, he's, he's in boss mode now. Or has already, made, he's always been a boss, but it's like it's been kicked in. Maybe, you know, there were some things that, you know, he let through. Or he let go. And he's it's like this energy of getting that snapback. He's working on that snapback. Uh, because he wants to come across as being secure um, when he approaches you. Is he truly secure, though? Ah, he's doubtful. <laughs> so he wants to come across as a secure, strong, dependable figure. But he is currently in the shame energy right now. Why is that? Because he hasn't brought anything forth in the physical. He hasn't brought forth this new beginning yet. Ah, or this new beginning in, in, in love and romance. So that's very heavily on his mind. that he has to wait until he's healed. He doesn't like to wait. He doesn't want to wait anymore, but he has to because he's in healing mode. There, we've got this natal chart here. So there's something here about universal timing. The timing is not right. He has to wait for the cycle. There's something here that the cycle has to close. The cycle is closing. I see 21 here, which I'm seeing as three. That feels like new beginnings to me as well for some reason. But it does because the three is like creation. The three is creation. <laughs> and so there's something here about like this person is like on the mirror or on the glass of a new beginning, but they're not. They're just, they're at the glass. It's like they're. 
faces on the glass. Their faces on the glass. It's like they can see it. It's like they want it. It's like they want to call out to you. They, they you feel so close to them. They y'all could be telepathically connecting to each other at this point in time. It's like you feel so close to them, but they just it's like spirit saying, "But you're not there yet. <laughs> you're not there yet. What's holding this person back?" It could literally be themselves. But we'll ask. Yeah, it could literally be themselves. Hermit in the reverse. It just takes this person coming out of Hermit. This person is going to come out of Hermit. Whenever they're ready. Tell me more. When is this person... When is this cake going to be ready? Tell me more. What is my collective need to know? What is my collective need to hear? Nine of Cups. You're their wish fulfillment. Yeah, it really just... The Hermit in the reverse and Nine of Cups. It really is just like any day now. It, it feels like the energy of any day now because the nine to the 10, you know? And nine of cups is wish fulfillment. 10 of cups is ultimate happiness. But this person is in that transition mode. Ooh, that one flew on the ground, child. Ah, three of wands. And it, it flew on the ground. Someone's tired. Someone's through waiting. Someone's through waiting at the bottom of the deck, hangman. Who's through waiting? Death card. Somebody wants this cycle to end. So there's a new beginning because someone realizes that they can't have you until the cycle is over. To the new cycle, until the cycle is over, or to the new cycle begins, and I feel like we're on the cusp of a cycle beginning, a new cycle beginning. But there's been delays. It's a secret. It's hidden what the delays are. It's like you know, if you know, show me why there's the delays. And it's coming through. Show me why there's delays. Doubt. Someone ignoring the call. Someone feeling down, feeling sorry for themselves. Allowing themselves to be in energy as a disappointment. Feeling like they missed an opportunity. Focusing on the negative. Because they're in a state of transition. Okay, so yep, they're getting in their own way, it seems like right now. Um, show me what my collective can expect if there's haste to this connection. What can my collective expect? Someone coming through in a friendship? This person could currently be your friend or this person could be looking to re kind of start off as friendship, but they're going to come, they're going to be coming through as a friend. It looks like to me, protect your dreams. Somebody's going to be protecting their vision and what they see for you, what they see for this situation, for this connection. Show me what's going to happen in the immediate future from this connection for my collective. Show me the plans for the immediate future. Show me the immediate future. Ooh! Something gonna involve purity and music in the future. Purity and music came out. And it's really what you believe it. Look at the magic. <laughs> the unicorn showing up there. And then the fairies, the music here. It's gonna be like cause for celebration in the immediate future, it looks like to me. Whenever you add music, and, and a unicorn. <laughs> That's a party. That's a celebration. Uh, 
I love that. Yeah. It's going to be a cause for celebration. It's going to be very abundant, too. You're going to be feeling very abundant. You're going to be feeling in your, in your bag. All right? What does this person want to say to my collective? Let's see here. Eyes wide shut. So this person was, this person had their eyes shut because they wasn't in a lifestyle. It was a, it was a lifestyle kind of thing that they were kind of stuck in for a bit there. Um, but now this person is working on the inner child healing. It says, let the inner child live, breathe, love, talk, express, and be playful. This connection very naturally is playful. It's going to be very playful for both of you guys because I feel like y'all both activate inner child healing with each other. And this person is done being focused on foolish games. I think they were overly obsessed with how things look. They were overly obsessed with material uh, stability, the material needs, and it made them, they feel like it made them a fool. It turned them into a fool by being overly obsessed with the material, with their material needs, because they weren't focused on their happiness. It says, I've never been that happy than within your energy. The last time they can remember even being that happy was the last time that they were in your energy. And however long that may have been, it really kind of gives you more of an idea of this person's day to day without your energy. I know he or she really wants you. So whomever they were dealing with knew all the time that they really desired you. And that's wild in itself. The things that people will allow themselves, the, thing, the things that people will allow themselves to endure in order to be, what, a competition for someone else or to stop something from happening. It it was just, it was ill intent. You know, this person, for whatever this person wanted your person for, it was a ill intent. They didn't really love or care for this person. They just, it looks like they just wanted to stop something from coming together. This person just wanted to stop something from coming together. Someday we'll be together by the Supremes. Someday we'll be together. Yes, we will. What did Diana say? She said, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Someday. Shout out Diana Ross, the legend, the pioneer herself. So someone purposely just wanted to kind of be or stand in the way just to keep a couple of souls from coming together. And from a soul level, that was their karmic mission. And I hope they grow and transform their lives because this desire will never desire. This desire will never die. This person says, lay out your love on me. The desire will never die. I feel like something popped out. Where'd it go? Spring. I feel like something's going to be very significantly happening for you in the springtime, which we're in officially. Ooh, ooh, two came out. Okay. Yep. I feel like this person was a player. For some of y'all, it could be past or present. So either this is a four form player or somebody who's currently presently in the player mode. But I'm reading for somebody who's had a major transformation. This is someone that lived a certain lifestyle of eyes wide shut and I feel like they had a major transformation um, because it just wasn't there was it was, they were frustrated it wasn't enough it was just them acting out of their ego yeah they were fulfilling soul contracts, but you are this person's soul contract that is, it's up. It's, it's time. This person understands. They had to, you know, fulfill or complete, you know, some of those lessons that they had to get through. But it's like you're also one of those contracts are also one of those lessons they have to get through as well. Um, but it's something that is protected. Know that the comebacks... <laughs> 
are better than the setbacks. This person realizes that, well, they're hoping. They're hoping that as it pertains to you guys, that the comebacks are going to be better than the setbacks. Um, but this union is protected and that y'all are protected within this union. Um, know that to be true, my babies. Uh, <sighs> All right, I think that that's it. <laughs> one, we'll do one more, one more card to say. What do they want to say to you right now? What do they want to say to the babies right now? They say they're grateful for the spiritual lesson. One more, they're grateful for the spiritual lesson, and we'll also what they want to say to their babies right now. What do they want to say to you right now? I wish I had treated you better. They also want you to know that you are the best thing in their life. All right. Until next time, y'all. Take care of yourselves. Mm.